Hello guys, my name is Diego Pacheco and this will be a Java video. So today I want to show you some code walkthrough about Quarkus. Um, we're going to do some uh, Postgres persistence with uh, ORM and Panache. Although I think Panache is an interesting solution, I personally don't like ORM. I prefer JDBC. Um, I think when you get a complex application, um, the performance bottleneck often uh, and the buggability are, are complicated and does not pay off. However, I know that lots of people love JPA. I just want to be clear, I'm doing a JPA video, but I don't love JPA. I don't think that's the kind of the way to go, but I think the Panache solution is pretty cool actually, but I'm not a JPA guy at all. I prefer JDBC. So let's get um, started. Let me share my screen. Let me open my idea and I have a project with Quarkus here. So I have a bunch of things to show you guys. So let's dive in. All right. So first of all, let me open my pawn. Um, I use the starter project in Quarkus to create uh, this project. I'm going to use Postgres um, here. Um, I'm using Quarkus 116 final, which right now is the latest version. Um, I'm using REST Easy um, as a REST client. I'm using JUnit for unit tests, REST Assured for integration tests, uh, Hibernate ORM for JPA persistence, and ORM Panache for some cool utilities and some domain driven design. Uh, that's the part why I like it um, that we can do with Panache. Um, and also the Postgres uh, SQL JDBC support from Quarkus. Um, then there's a Quarkus Maven plugin here, um, the failsafe plugin, and that's pretty much the pawn. Um, so let's go for the code. First, I want to start with the configurations. Um, so in application properties, I have the data source, which I'm using Postgres. Um, this is how I'm connecting to my Postgres database. I actually have a Docker container I'm going to run. Um, and here there is a set of uh, Quarkus profile. I'm going to use the dev profile. So uh, it will auto create and drop the database for me. For me. So it's pretty, uh, pretty um, neat and pretty productive for development purpose. Um, um, I set the config here, but you also can do, you know, persistence XML, which I have it here, right? So here um, I have, um, that's another way you can do it. You don't need to do it here. Um, the connection, you definitely need this part here, which is like the dialect. Um, I'm using Postgres 10, so that's why I have this dialect. Um, I want to show the SQL and I want the SQL formatted. I'm also turning some uh, connection pooling here, but you don't need to do any of these things. Right. So now let's go to the cool part, right? So have a module. Um, you need to add, add entity. Um, I'm doing XML root element. If I want to return this XML, I'm actually going to be returning as JSON. So you actually don't need this part. Have a named query um, following the pattern like the POJO or the model entity actually dot uh, the name of the query. So I'm doing a hibernate query language here to find all JPA actually JQL, I think. Um, and here I'm extending Panache entity, right? And the cool thing, if you look the source code on Quarkus is that that guy already has an ID, already has a generated value. So um, you don't need to add this mapping, right? And if you look Panache entity base, you actually uh, gonna have several methods that are done already. And that's the cool thing about Panache. It's like Spring Data, but more DDD. That's why I like it. Um, so I'm defining here, I want a name and uh, a status that I'm calling active. Um, then um, getters and setters. And here's the interesting part, right? So I'm defining static methods, uh, find by name, where you pass a name, I'm just seeing if the name is empty, I'm going to draw an exception. Otherwise, I'm going to call find from Panache, saying that my query is the name and 
the name whatever you pass to me and when I get the find result, right? So it's find by ID, but instead of by ID, by name. Um, there's a find all where I just call list from Panachi and I'm passing my query, right? My query is where active is true. I wanna list all active gifts. Uh, and finally, I do a delete. So I check if the name is not empty, then I'm calling delete from Panachi and saying the query is the name equals the name you pass me, right? So pretty cool. Uh, the fact that is on the model, right? So it's really DDD. And then we, we in this case, don't need a service. We don't need a DAO to go straight to the resource. Then for the save, I need to open a transaction. So that's why I say transactional. Um, the rest is pretty much uh, standard rest with jar jax uh, rs. Um, so I have a path, which is slash gift. If I do a slash gift and the name, uh, gonna be saving. So I'm creating a gift, setting the name, setting that's active. I'm calling persist and returning that same name back. Then I have slash all, which is not really a good rest pattern. Um, I should be using different rest verbs, but here I was lazy just using gets, so that's why I did the slash all, but don't do this at home, guys. Um, then I'm gonna return application JSON, and what I do is a gift um, find all, and then I get as a list. And finally, I'm doing um, find by name, where you pass me a name, and I do gift dot um, find by name, all right? Um, there is a test here, but I didn't pay much attention, but I'm using um, rest assured to do it, kind of a BDD like. So I can say given when I go gift bonbon, I should receive a bonbon back and status should be 200, right? So to run this code, I have this run script because you need to do Quarkus dev and pass the profile to dev as well. So I made a script and I also have a script to run Docker in Postgres here all right, to make uh, my life easier. So let's uh, start running this thing, all right? So first of all, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna open another console and I'm gonna call um, run to run the Postgres. So we should have the Postgres database up and running. We have it, this is running on Docker, right? So we need to have Docker in our machine. And now I'm gonna run uh, the Quarkus application And uh, now it creates a database already. Uh, it doesn't exist. So that that's it. It's running pretty fast, right? So we're gonna try um, create some gifts. We're gonna do an all and then a find by name. So let me go my browser. If I hit 880, I'm gonna see a Quarkus page here. And now I'm gonna add some stuff, right? So uh, gift and then I wanna add a bonbon, get a bonbon back. I'm gonna add some flowers and some uh, cookies. Cookies. Okay, now if I do git gift all, I see all my gifts. I see I have um, bonbon, flowers, cookies. I type two times cookies, so that's why there's different cookies here. Um, and what I can do now is I can do a find and I wanna find a bonbon for instance, and then it works. So you guys can see that's uh, fully working, all right? I just wanna show you, so that's that's what I have for Quarkus. Um, so you have an idea, let me stop this, let's stop my Postgres. Um, I have another project here, I'm gonna send you all the links later on. Um, similar thing, but with uh, MySQL, if that uh, your preferred database. Um, so the idea is really, really similar. There's just few differences. I have a different uh, Docker script to run MySQL. I'm running MySQL 5.7. Um, and I have um, on the persistence, you need to change the driver, right? So is MySQL JDBC driver. Um, the connection set of Postgres SQL with MySQL, the dialect change, but the rest is pretty much the same. I did it here, but you don't need to do it in two places, okay? So pretty much the same. I had a readme, if you wanna um, take a look, all right, you need to create a table first. So you just run uh, this is, this is script here in your terminal and then your, your not the table, your database will be created. 
and then you can do the same thing. It's this whole same application, um, and you're gonna see it works. But here, there's one difference. I'm not using Panache, as you can see. Um, so that's why you're gonna see I have the ID here, and I'm using the entity manager in my service. So here I actually have a service, um, and there is an entity manager, right? So um, we can um, we we can use uh, the persistence API directly, and there there is a CDI here um, as well annotations right uh, application scope and inject so pretty similar um, slightly different ap implementation right um, so yeah so that's it I have it uh, I hope you guys like it uh, see you next time cheers